How to make a Stuart 5A crosshead lubricator. This is part two, drilling mounting holes in the oil tank. In the world of model and full size engineering, there are many different ways of marking out parts to drill holes to allow you to bolt parts together. This is a miniature steam locomotive hand pump that's normally fitted in a tender. I'm going to use it as an oil pump, therefore I need to mount it on top of the oil tank. I could accurately measure the positions of the holes on the oil pump, and then by using different pieces of engineering apparatus, I could transfer the positions of the holes in the pump onto the oil tank itself. And before anybody writes in, I cannot use transfer punches because the width of the pump body is wider than the holes in the base. And that's why I held the pump in position on top of the oil tank and used the angle end of my scriber to scratch the position of the holes on the top of the brass. I then used a ruler to confirm that they were all in line. In this clip, I'm attempting to drill accurate holes in this brass tank with this terrible chuck that's in my drilling machine. I really must throw this away, it's horrible. In fact, so is the drilling machine. When I finally get round to building my new workshop, and I don't know how long that's going to be, I'm going to buy a new drilling machine, a proper one. As you can see, first of all, I used a centre drill, and now I'm using a tapping size drill for 7BA. And I'm being especially careful not to break the drill in the work. Two down, two to go. I seldom change the speed of my drilling machine. This is a little bit slow for this size of drill, but I'm not in too much of a hurry, so I just give the drill time to cut. If you find yourself having to force a drill through the work and the work starts to get hot, then possibly your drill needs sharpening. Now comes the fun part. I'm using a 7BA tap to thread the holes for 7BA bolts. I'm not using a lubricant. You don't really need to with brass, but really for a tap of this size, I should have used some lubricant, especially for a tap of this age which has done plenty of work and is not as sharp as it once was. But this is not professional engineering, these tutorials are for beginners, and when beginners first start off they generally beg, steal or borrow a lot of the tooling. Some of my tooling came from scrapyards, one in particular where a local engineering firm used to tip, and when I was young and foolish I would ferret through all this scrap and find all sorts of interesting things. And a lot of the tools that I found I still use to this day, they're still in good condition. I've temporarily mounted the pump to the top of the tank using a couple of 7BA bolts and what I'm doing at the moment is scribing around the vertical part of the pump to mark the position where the oil feed pipe is going to enter the tank. And once I've got the position, it's over to the drilling machine to drill a hole in it. The feed pipe is 5 30 seconds of an inch in diameter or four millimeter these days but I'm drilling this hole 5 30 seconds of an inch because once the tank is fitted with its filler cap, it needs to be vented. In this clip, I'm using a hole cutter, one of these multi-stepped hole cutters, to drill a hole for the filler cap itself. These hole cutters were sent to me by a friend of mine in the USA and they came from China. So what are they like? Well, they're very good indeed. I can't fault them in any way. They cut holes in pieces of metal and they cut the holes quite well. The rattling noise you can hear is just the play in this really crappy drilling machine that I have. Increasingly, I'm hating this thing, so I'm going to possibly get rid of it before I even move to the new workshop. I bought this drilling machine brand new from a local supplier, and it is a British-made drilling machine, possibly with oriental parts, I don't know. That's enough condemnation of my drilling machine, at least it's drilled the hole. I'm now cleaning up the burrs on the inside of the tank using a file. When I place the pump loosely in position on top of the tank, you can see the arrangement. Four mounting holes, a central hole for the oil inlet, and a larger hole for the filler cap. In this clip, you will notice that I've already silver soldered the other end cap in place. As the silver soldering process is identical for both end caps, I didn't see the need to waste time showing a repeat process, although the end cap is at the other end of the tank. And that's it for this short episode. In the next one, I'll be making the filler cap. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Mainsteam Models website. Click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.